as they're going to go, I'm going to tell you. I think we're all set, honey, for a big day. Come on, Walt, we've got to hear at least one pay attention here. Pay attention. Pay attention to your ice cream, man. <laughs> All Of them when he Just does to prove it. it, yeah. <laughs> she does do something once in a while. What class are you going to run over here, Jim? Uh, Bud Light Lightnings. But what kind of competition do you figure is going to be out here today for you? Very stiff. Who do you figure is the hottest driver to be out there you'll have to watch out for? I'd say Mike Murphy. What are your chances against Mike? I don't know, I've never raced against them. We're just going to try hard. So you're looking forward to uh, some new competition over there? Yeah, a lot of new drivers, a lot of cars I haven't run against. How's the season been going for you so far? Um, pretty good. We're, we're doing third in points up at Star now, and we're looking to get a feature up there any time now. Great. Well, good luck out there today. Okay, thanks a lot. Having launched his association, with another former Harvard racer. He also races in the sports car field. Can we find out who the pitbull is before I call it the pitbull? All right, this is 10 laps. 10 laps. Bud Light, Nate Walker. Let's watch. And let's see where they go. Here All right. Number 41 out in front. He's going to have a spilling time in the infield, but they're leaving out 23. That's Mark McCalvary, uh, Rod Reed, and in between guys, Rosen, six seconds. Number five, Danny Goodnard. Into the lead, it's number 16, Rod Reed, and followed by Fitz Benton in no sense. 23, Mark McCalvary. In the five, Dana Goodnard, four. Robert the 26 is running six. Then followed by the six, Jeff Crowley, and 62, Billy Bike. Down for lap number three. The leader is no six, six followed by Marquis. 23 hits in the infield. Mark McKelvey has gone three laps coming down for four. Pitch Fence. And we got number five, Dana Goodman. Well, Dave Higgins in the 41. Coming down halfway, halfway. Number six, Jeff Crowley is on in the infield. Coming down for that number six. It's still no sense. In second place. Rod Reed running third. Number five, Dana Goodman. Followed by Bobby Bolick in 26. And 41, Dave Higgins. Coming down for lap number eight, two laps to go. Number eight, two laps to go. The leader, Pitch Fenton. Followed by number 16, Rod Reed. Number five, now, number 50, no man. 25, 26, Bobby Bullock, and 41, Dave Hicks. One lap to go, one lap to go. Out in front of the road. All right, come to you, Winner. Fitch Fenton. Rodney, good now. Billy Bike, Bobby 
Bowl. The winner, no sense, pitch, pitch. Second place went to number 16, Rod Reed. Third to number 5, Dana Goodnow. Fourth, number 15, and we're trying to locate that gentleman's name. Followed by 62, Billy Bike, who finished fifth. In sixth place, 26, Bobby Bowler. And the 41 finished in last, driven by Dave Higgins. Number one, Jim Ingley. And M3, Mike Murphy. 45, Oscar Leclerc. And where is Oscar? He's not out there. And they're off and running. Gary Casella, Jay Paradise, Steve Kolowski running fourth, Mike Murphy running fifth, and number one, Jim Angley, the chairman. Oh! Number one, Jim Angley, Steve Kolowski, Jay Murphy, and we have no yellow flag, and they keep going. Here they come. No Now the yellow cross the flag. When they drop the yellow flag, it means that the race must slow down. Don't gain on your fellow driver. Don't let him gain on you. Just maintain your position. Coming into the 410, number one. Jim Angley kind of cut Murphy off just a bit in that number 410. And that started him spinning towards that infield. And the number one did get the little center, but but Murphy picked up a couple of positions. He was running fourth the whole time, which means that it's a false start. To act as honorary starter, and they were so confused when the super modifieds came down the stretch that one of the starters, he's now a major league assistant coach in hockey, he dropped the red flag, and boy, did they pile up on each other with the green flag. Well, he decided to make this change, and it's working rather well. All right, that's 57, 80, Freeland, the two points, here they come, here they come, and it's Freeland again. Freeland, Casella running second, Kevin LeClaire, Dave Blanchett running third, Mike Murphy fourth, Dick Williams fifth. Murphy moved right in there now. Third place, Dave Blanchett, fourth in the 57, Dick Williams. All right, coming down, Murphy going after the lead. And look at him blow by the 57. There he comes. He's going And it's Murphy by 10 lengths. Mike Murphy leading him. Second. And now Dave Blanchett is going after him. Dave Blanchett. 57 moves and comes down. Two laps to go. One lap to go. One lap. Here comes the finish. It's Murphy. Blanchard. Murphy from Wolfen, Massachusetts. Second place to 57, P. Dave Blanchard. Third place to number 30, car driven by Dick Williams. Fourth to 57, Dave 
Mike is going to say F his name, and that is Eddie Freeland, finishing fourth. In fifth place, number 28, Terry Casella, then Steve Kolofsky, Kevin LeClaire in the 42, Dave Paradise in 117, and 49. takes a big early lead, followed by Jim Warren, and on the outside, number one, Teddy Parker. In 77, Chris Curley, 41, but Crotty, 37, Danny Manan, 22. Danny Greenwood, followed by Teddy Parker, Jim Warren, Chris Curley, Bud Cruddy, and Danny Manon. Coming down for lap number four, and we have a challenge for the lead. Halfway. Halfway. He's in the seven, in the old seven, the old seven, in the second row inside. Sonny Martell in the 37, Mike Braley in 32, and there goes Swifty in the 22, going right after the lead pass. The leader is number 22, Scott Barney, followed by fastball, Freddy. Mike Braley, Eddie Cleveland, and Karen Latula. That one's running away. Halfway, halfway. Scott 
Bonney in the 2020. Rock and Ray Marshall. Mike Brown. Fastball Freddy Dick Rose Williams 77 and 87. For Cleveland 07, Aaron Latula. Big lead for number 22, Scott Bonner. Followed by 37. Two laps to go. Two laps to go. Final lap. Final lap. Number 22, Scott Bonner. Out in front. One of those to the field of this one for money. He's coming down into the stretch. 200 yards ahead of his nearest driver. Here he is, Scott Bonner. Followed by 37, Rocket Ray Marshall, 83. And the official winner, number 22, Scott Bunny. Second, number 37, Rocket Ray Martell. Third, Mike Braley in the 83. Fourth, number 75, that's Super Real. Then in fifth place, number 17, Fast Ball Freddy. 77, Dick Roseworthy, 87, Fred Cleveland, and 07, Karen Latulis. Number one, Johnny Reaper, Clint Edwards, Tommy Mason, and number 90, Big Ed Castellano, Oscar LeClaire. Kyle Tyrone, leading Ron McFarland, 49 and 71. In third place is the one, Johnny Reaper. And then 67, Tom Mason. Number 90, Eddie Castellano. 66 is Oscar LeClaire. 1, Clint Edwards. 15, Paul Reed. 26, Ron Bolton. Ron Bolton. Coming down for lap number 3. Elijah Lee for 49. Who is now alone? Tom Mason. Johnny Reed for the 1 4. Big Ed Halfway, halfway. Three down lap number six now. It's still 49 off. 49, Kyle Tyrone, 71, Ron McFarlane, 67, Tom Mason, number one, Johnny Reaper, 66, Oscar Leclerc, Big Ed Castellano in the 90, Clint Edwards in the 6S1, 25, Ronnie Boulder, and they're beginning to lap pass, the lead pass is going out, with three laps to go, Kyle Tyrone, is beginning to move on, give him pressure, and he's out there all alone in the 49, coming down in the track. There are two laps of all. Number 71, Lenny Seven. That's Ron McFarlane. Running third in the 67 is Tom Mason. Running fourth, number one, Johnny Reaper. And then the 66. Oscar Claire, one lap to go. One lap. There will be a battle for second place, however. Tom Mason, minus 10, 71. Who's we'll just pulled away from a little bit now? Oh, let's come. Here they come. The winner is number 49, Kyle Tyrone. How about you on the right hand? Here we come down. Second place went to Ron McFarlane in the 71. Third place, Tom Mason in 67. Fourth place, Oscar LeClaire with a 66. In fifth place, number one, Johnny Reaper. And then we had number 90, Big Ed Castellano. And 26, Ron Boulder. There are. out in front, followed by 71, Rod Robertson, Martin Gang in the 50, also running the running in the great 12. 39, Joe Velocity, 
There's another rookie qualifying heat. Now watch him, then may get a surprise start. How far is 
Mike Sora is capable. We have 68 now, Jesse Scott in there. I think you missed him. He's in there. Yes. We know he's in there. He's going to win. There he is. Let's give him a nice hand. Let's do it. He's on one lap. That looks like a, a red tire and uh, could be the 87. They're taking hands out there. Okay, you don't want to see anyone in a hurry. We're going to pick the lucky number after the winner comes up from the Bud Light Lake model. He always picks the winner. We find one out of five laps. Intermission follows this at this time. I don't know what's going on, but Russ Conway will be taking over down at trackside. Then 58. Oh, there's the green flag, and they get caught napping. Let's go! That's a six. And that first car is R6, Jim Murphy, not a five. Oh, look at them going all over. There's our five white score. On the point, 94, Ken Staff, on the inside of the body is Tom Mahan, and they're coming down the halfway mark for third round. Here they come, it's Aztec, Jim Murphy, followed by the 14th, Ronnie Baldwin. In third place, R5, Dwight Stola, followed by 58, roll on the point, number 40, Tom Mahan, and making the turn in the corner. Very slow. It looks like there's a yellow flag because we just lost Kenny Staff to the pit and 34 Dave Gass up here on the corner. So we've only gone the three up the five laps. And we'll have to reel in. All right, there's the green flag once more with that two laps to go. Jim Murphy, followed by the 14 in the outside. Second place, Ronnie Baldwin. Third place, R5, Dwight Stora. Rolling the point is there. One lap to go. One lap to go. And now let's find Jim Murphy. And the 14, Ronnie Baldwin running the second. R5, Dwight Stora running third. Running the fourth is the 58, rolling the point. Then the 40 running fifth. Is Tom Mahan, here they come, here's the finish. Uh, six, Jim Murphy, 14, Ronnie Baldwin, Dwight Stola. Out in front, number one, Jim 
Hendley, followed by a big Videotaping these races today. In third place, or second place, 26, Bolvik. Third, Billy Bike in 62. 41 is Dave Higgins. Steve Kolofsky in the 80. Dick Riley in the 50. Gary Kassella in 28. And 42, Kevin LeClaire. No sense, Ed Fenton. Number five, Danny Goodnow. 57, David Blanchett. 83, Mike Lecky, 49, Bob Cullen, number 6, Jeff Crowley, and here comes the 57 back, number 30, Dick Williams, 117, Dave Paradise, and 53 is Peter Seiler. Oh, Angley and Crowley came. And Dylan, uh, 
62, Billy Bike. Billy Bike, and that's one of them. And then Blanchard. No sense. to go. Four to go. Four to go. He woke up. Dick Williams has walked all the way up the court with two laps to go. He makes can he hang on. One lap to go. Will they make it? Here he comes. Can he hang on for a big, thrilling win? I think he will. Here he comes, a winner! Well, this must be one of the upsets of the season. Here is young winner number 62, Billy Bike. A big feature win here. Let's give him a rousing hand. Boy, what a terrific race. He won. He led a song of his sister The winner is number 62, Billy Bike. Second place went M3, Mike Murphy. Third, the 57, Dave Landon. Fourth, number 30, Dick Williams. No Six number one, Jim Eggley, followed by 28, Gary Kostoa, number six, Jeff Crowley, and number five, Dana Goodman. The winner down there is number 62, Billy Bike. And when Billy comes up on the stand, they will also be drawing the lucky number tonight for the 50-50 club. But this is the first big win for Billy Bike, otherwise known as the Brass Monkey of Auto Racing, a guy that used to come from way behind and win. Now he gets out front and stays there. And a great go for Billy Bike. Let's give him a hand down there. A great win for Billy Bike. Probably he had a toughest field he's ever faced. He faced some good drivers. 
and he and John Spence, I understand, are going to be drawing the lucky numbers down there. Second place went to Mike Murphy Cuban. Third, 57, Dave Blanchard. Fourth, number 30, Edwin. Billy Bikes, a great race, young man, a great race. One of the better races you can have. That's the way it goes down there, Billy. Certainly a change. He has proof that he cut all he can go with these heavy hitters, and tonight he has the best field that we've seen assembled here in a long time. Billy Bikes. Two-car race between the 41 Crotty and number one Teddy Parker. Running third, number 25, Danny Greenwood, 77. Twelve on the field is 37, Dan Manon. There's one, nine laps. Six more to go, six more laps to go. And it turned out the two different races. Teddy Parker all by himself by four lengths over number 41. That's Maguire Jr. And the second two are going to fight for third and fourth. 25, Danny Greywood, and 77, Chris Curley. We've got four laps to go. Four laps to go. Trail in the field is number 37, Dan Menard. No problem. And uh, Dan, uh, number one, Teddy Parker is holding on. One lead. About five laps now, with three laps to go. Number one, Dave 
Teddy Parker coming right down to the wire. Oh, and a spin out for 41. Now let's see, will he do it? Yes, yeah. just made second place. And third place was at 25. Uh, who was uh, Danny Greenwood? Fourth, 77. Uh, Chris Perley. The winner is number one, Teddy Parker. The first half champion, point scoring champion. The Avon Express. There he is right down there. Deserves a fine hand. Number one, Teddy Parker. Second, number 41, who managed to slide over the finish line to retain second place from Bill Ricker. Number 41, Bud Crotty Jr. In third place, it was the 25. Danny Greenwood of Chester, followed by 77, Chris Curley. And last but not the least, 37, Dan Menard. Any lap feature event and watch the style. He may drop that flag anytime. Ah. Thank you. 
Tom Mason. Second place went to 66, Oscar LeClaire. Third, number 17, Fastball Freddy. Fourth, Ed Cucurillo in the 75. Fifth, number 90, Big Ed Castellano. Then we have the 49, Cal Tyrone. 71, Ronnie. Let's see who that's 71. Ron McCollum. And number one, Johnny Reaper, 37, Sonny Martell, the winner again, 67, Tom Mason, second, 66, Oscar Flint, third, fastball, fourth, Ed Cooper Wheel on the 75, fifth, number 90, Big Ed Castellano, sixth, 49, Cal Tyrone, Seventh, number 71, Ron McCollum. And the number one, Johnny Reaper. Seventh, Rocket Ray, Sonny Martell. We have found a driver's license, George Cook, D-I-U-I-T-T, or Draker. We have it up here in the car. Fifty-nine, Bob Watkins. Seventeen, Paul Fern. All right, sixty-one, Bob has continued Tom Law. And Jim Murphy, the front tires, the fifty tires he's got until we drop that green flag. That's a good idea. Who I know this year, I.W. Cohen, Ron Emery, go to the radio in your truck, please. That makes sense, I guess. Ron Emery of I.W. Cohen, go to the radio in your truck, pick up a message. Ah, uh, they may drop that flag. We hope. And then they come in the rock. Into the back stretch. 
Number 50, Brian Gagnon. 38, Wayne Veloso. 59, Bob Norton. 14, Lonnie Ball. 74, George Caruso. And the green, they're coming down.
right there. Two laps to go. This is the final race in the regular competition. However, following this race, following this race, we have the strictly start. Oh wait, that's Caswell. Coming up, and White Neck is in front. 
Going in there now with the bidding for Oh, there's a bit of smack in the back. Oh, really? Fifty or fifteen. The winner double zero, and that is Kenny White. Second place went to the eighty-seven, and that's Steve Berry. Third fifty-seven. Bill Smith fourth ninety-four. Ken Staff. Then the sixteen Cliff Wilkins, and that is as far as, as far as that. The winner is double O. Followed by the 87 double O is Ken White. 87 Steve Berry. 57 Bill Smith. 94 Ken Staff. And Bug Wilkins is 16. Yeah. Okay.
to turn left. Down the front shoot they come. The blue and white car leading them down the front straightaway. Contact out here on the front straightaway at the start. Whoa, oh, 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 look out. Hood is up. And around goes the 19 car. Maxine Brown to the ticket booth, please. Your attention, Maxine Brown to the ticket booth. Who's leading? The blue and white car in the back straightaway, weaving through the traffic inside and out in the third turn. He goes. Here's the leader coming off turn number four, the blue and white car. They're going 10 laps. Strictly stock action, popular division here at the Hudson Speedway. All right, are you ready to cross them over when they come by? Your lead car. And he is coming off the rapid through, turn four, coming to the line. Here's your leader right there. Driving a fine line around the speedway. One off the top of the turn in number two. Things getting a little slow and hectic on the back straightaway. We've got a new leader. Come up, he's right behind him. The leader almost got taken out. A little silver car coming right up behind the leader. We've got a good two-car battle going through turns one and two. Ooh, to the inside. Now the little car found the same route. Stay downstairs going into turn number three. Completing another lap around the speedway. Eddie Shaw, contact bumper tag. And around, oh, he got it back. He got it back. Oh, there he goes. He went for the lead, contact with the leader. We got accidents, turns one and two. Yellow checker flag to finish it. We got a car that overheated in turn number two. Everybody's scurrying around and above. And the leader is coming around here at turn number three. He's loose. He's loose, but he gathers it back, coming down for the checker. And there's your winner. The All righty, the guy that led it right from the drop of the green rolls to victory. All righty, nice job, guy. Yep, you can pull up over here. And put the direction along because it doesn't work. Dr. Taillight's doing the work. 
I'm going to wheel it back here in the victory lane to be congratulated down there by Eddie Boyer and Ronnie Piper, the flag men. See if you can get him to come on out here, Eddie, and radio up his name. What is it? Okay, the winner is John Dance from Wilmington, Massachusetts. How many fans for him out there, Rick Dance? There he is. Don't well, we forget reaching action every Sunday night here at Hudson Speedway with a 6 o'clock starting time. Big things happening here next week. The Bay State of Massachusetts taking on the Granite State of New Hampshire. Howie Brown. because she won her share of powder puff derbies right here. Please put your hands together and welcome back one more time, Eddie Schofield. What? 
for the last time returning to Victory Lane is the driver of the legendary Black Cat of the the Big O, Holly Cook. He makes things with his own hands, Charlie Ellery. In May Grayson, what would be near in New England this year and next year? What about a nice hand for all of these people? And now, it is time, a first in this sport, at least to this magnitude, something that is long overdue, and if I could ask all of you to get up and come on down to the track. <laughs> Where do I go? Next to Charlie? Yeah. All right. Oh, we went from over here just a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 